Hey, it's Matt from Tradesman Digital Marketing. Today's video, I'm going to walk you through duplicating ad groups inside Google Ads. I'm going to go over why you should do it and how to do it inside your account. So starting off, what is an ad group? And an ad group is essentially the thing that holds all of your actual keywords and ads together. So if you want to make a custom, you know, pool builder, pool installation ad group with, you know, keywords like pool builders and then ads that have pool builders, you know, or targeting pool builders, you absolutely can. And the nice thing about ad groups is you can simply duplicate them out and save yourself a whole bunch of time when creating the next one, at least if they're similar, right? If they're really different, it might be just better to make a new one. But if they're very close, so say, for example, we want to go after actual pool contractors instead of pool builders, or just add that as another ad group, we certainly can. And the way we go about doing that is clicking on our campaign here. So we're going to click on pool installation. We're going to come over here to ad groups. We're going to click on that. And then as you can see, all of our ad groups pop up. And what we're going to do to actually duplicate this ad group out, since we're only switching a few things, we're going to slightly change the keyword, slightly change the ad copy. All we have to do is check mark this on the box here. We're going to come up here to edit. We're going to hit copy. And then we're going to come down here to paste. And what this will then prompt up is where we actually want to put this ad. It already pre-selects the actual campaign we're already in. All we have to do is hit done. And then if you want, you can just hit pause new ad groups after pasting. This is generally what I like to do uh, as I don't really want the ad group to run right away. I want it actually to be customized. And then I'll go about actually turning it back on once everything is finalized. Once we're happy with the setting, we just hit paste and then this will pop up and it will say pasting your ad group. And depending on how big it is, like keywords, ads, all the stuff actually in this, uh, it may differ plus on how quickly your internet loads and there's a whole bunch of different things, but it generally takes anywhere from 15 seconds to a minute. Sometimes it actually does glitch out a little bit and uh, all you have to do is just refresh the page and then it generally appears in your actual ad group down here and you're good to go. That's, so if it's taking anything more than like, I don't know, a minute or two, I would just refresh the page and it should pop up down here. And as you can see, our ad group is paused down here. What I like to do right off the bat is rename this. And the way we go about renaming this is just hitting the actual little pencil icon here. And I'm going to put this to pool contractors. And then just hit save and we're good to go. And as you can see, all the stuff from the previous pool builder campaign has been copy and pasted over. And all you have to do is come in here and actually change out all the builders. So you can do this manually by clicking on the little pencil icon for your keywords and then typing contractors. Um, what I like to do, what I like to do is actually uh, select all of these and then hit edit. And this is important because sometimes you can mess this up and uh, it's important to actually go over and look everything through after you do this. But if you have a ad group, you know all the text in it and they're all themed well together and every single keyword has pool builders in it and you just want to change out one word, all you have to do is select the word you want to change out. So I'll put builder in here and then put contractor. Essentially what this is going to do is swap out all of the builder terms with contractors. And once we actually hit apply, uh, it's going to replace all of the actual keywords inside of here with the term uh, contractors. And as you can see, this is one of the errors that could actually cop come up. Some of our pool builders keywords actually had the S associated with it. So it only got rid of the actual builder part and it left the S. So the actual pool contractors is doubled out. So you actually have to come back in here and remove the S, but it's a lot nicer than actually having to uh, type out contractor and builder every single time. So, you know, uh, pros and cons, but make sure you actually double check all of this just to make sure you're good. And then once all of this is set properly with your keywords, you're good to go. Uh, the next thing we can do here is then come into ads and do the exact same thing with our ad. I always recommend having three ads. This is just a demo account, but what we can do with this is the essentially the exact same thing with our ad as we did with our keywords. And we're going to check mark this ad. Uh, we're going to come over here to edit. We're going to hit change ad. And what it, the two changes I like to make are the actual display path. So I will put pool contractors and all the ads selected are going to now have this display path. So I don't have to manually come in here and actually edit all of this out, which is really nice. And then we just hit apply and you're good to go for the actual display path. Uh, this may take a second again, depending on how many ads are in your actual account. And then the final change you can make is actually coming in here, heading change ad again. And then we hit find and replace I'm not exactly sure what we did for the actual uh, headline. So I'm just going to put pool contractor. Uh, actually, yeah, we'll just put pool contractor. That way, if there is an S that will keep it uh, and it'll make sense. So we're just going to hit apply. Hopefully that doesn't over 
go over on any of the ads. So if there's a certain amount of lettering, it might pop up with an error just because uh, it can't put that word in. But as we can see, after we click on our ad, all of the builders should be replaced. As you can see in ground pool contractors, um, all of the builders have now been replaced with contractors, pool contractors near me, and we are good to go. So we just hit save ad. I always recommend again, double checking this and you're good to go. And as you can see now we have doubled out our ad group and all we have to do now is come in here, turn this back on and our ad group should be good to go. So that's how to duplicate your ad groups inside Google ads. If you have any comments, questions or concerns, leave them down in the comments section down below. I'd be happy to answer them. Other than that, you guys have a wonderful day and take care.